a quiet Pakistani village at the center of a pedophilia scandal. Here in rural Punjab, children were sexually abused for over five years by a gang who sold videos of the acts and then blackmailed the victims and their families. This young man was among those abused. He's now 16 years old. I feel terrible when my friends stare at me. I know what they're thinking. My classmates and teachers look down on me, so I stop going to school. In conservative Pakistan, taboos and fear of dishonor mean many families do not dare to speak out against sexual abuse. But here, once they did, the police turned a blind eye. It took a series of clashes between protesters and police for the cases to go public. Pornographic um, <clears throat> material was circulating even when we went a few days after the exposure of the scandal. Pedophilia is a serious social issue in this country. It's a crime that nobody talks about and therefore it is hidden. The scandal finally made it to the headlines and shocked the whole country. Over 30 people were arrested, but only 17 of them are still in jail awaiting trial. In Pakistan, penetration is required for an act to be considered sexual abuse, while child pornography is not prescribed. A situation which makes it even harder for the victims and their families to move on. These children should be sent to Islamabad or abroad, because they cannot study here anymore. The authorities established that 20 minors were raped or sodomized, the only two sex crimes recognized by the penal code. But this could change. A law criminalizing sexual abuse of children is being debated by Pakistan Senate. Too late, though, for the victims in Punjab.